After several years of secret operations, the United States finally began to empty out TSMC. November 17, 2022 is a day when the entire island of Taiwan needs to reflect deeply. The first batch of 300 key employees of TSMC boarded an American chartered plane with their wives, children, and dogs, and flew directly to the production base in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. These key employees and their families will settle in the United States in the future, never come back. In fact, this is only the first batch of people TSMC transferred to the United States. Before the end of the year, there will be six chartered flights to transport more than 1,000 key TSMC employees and their families to Phoenix. According to the plan, it is expected that more than 3,000 TSMC talents will eventually be sent to the United States, and they will become the long-term core talents of TSMC's U.S. factory. Moreover, in addition to installing a large number of new production equipment in the U.S. factory, TSMC may also dismantle a large number of precision equipment in Taiwan's headquarters and transport them to the Phoenix production base for reinstallation. In fact, this kind of behavior is tantamount to permanent talent and technology transfer, which means that the United States will stop pretending, and it will hollow out TSMC and the semiconductor industry in Taiwan under the noses of everyone. To make matters worse, when TSMC went to the United States to build a factory, downstream manufacturers had to relocate, but the question is not every Taiwanese company can get the favor of American capital. The inefficiency and high cost of Americans are not something every Taiwanese company can afford. Once the new U.S. factory starts full-scale production, it will be difficult for downstream manufacturers remaining in Taiwan to adapt to the pace of production. In addition, the global economy is still very gloomy. In the future, Taiwan will inevitably face a large number of factory closures and common people's unemployment. So, what is going on? As we all know, Maurice Chang, the founder of TSMC, has expressed his reluctance to relocate to the United States many times in interviews, but why did TSMC move to the United States in the end? Okay, as for today's video, let's dive deep into this issue. It is no secret that Taiwan is highly dependent on the semiconductor industry. According to public data, the total market value of Taiwan's semiconductor industry in 2021 was about 700 billion yuan, accounting for 20% of the total output value of Taiwan's manufacturing industry. Among them, the total revenue of a TSMC has reached 1.59 trillion new Taiwan dollars, equivalent to approximately 357.75 billion renminbi, which is exactly half of the total output value of Taiwan semiconductors. TSMC currently has a total of about 50,000 employees, of which 17,000 are skilled workers on the production line, and most of the rest are professionals and assistants, which add up to almost 30,000 people. This time, only the backbone talents of the 5 nanometers production line were transferred, and the total number exceeded 3,000. If TSMC invests in more production lines in the United States in the future, it will inevitably send away more semiconductor talents. In addition, in addition to this $12 billion 5 nanometer chip factory, TSMC will also build a new 3 nanometer advanced process plant in Phoenix. This matter has also been confirmed by Maurice Chang. You may not know that TSMC invested in Oregon as early as 25 years ago to build a factory, but it has been unable to expand its production capacity. The main reason is that local Americans are unwilling to work overtime or night shifts, and complain to American labor unions every now and then, which makes Asian bosses extremely annoyed. In order to catch up with the construction period, TSMC had to airlift Taiwanese labor force to the United States as temporary workers. However, after so many years of tossing, the factory has not improved. So, knowing the consequences of moving to the United States, why did TSMC's top management insist on relocating? Are they really all fools? In fact, TSMC's investment and construction of a factory in Phoenix is an administrative requirement issued by Trump to TSMC during his tenure. In addition, the U.S. government also introduced the Chip and Science Act in August, further forcing semiconductor companies to transfer to the United States. After all, Maurice Chang is a businessman, and he knows the fate of TSMC has long been in the hands of the United States. 
The construction of the factory started in June 2021, and it is planned to install the equipment in 2023 and mass-produce in the first half of 2024. Maurice Chan has complained more than once that the high cost of manufacturing chips in the United States is almost 50% higher. This will greatly weaken the market competitiveness of TSMC products. Therefore, it is a high probability event that TSMC will be robbed of business by Samsung, and it is only a matter of time before TSMC will be overtaken by the mainland China's chip industry in the future. In addition to economic issues, TSMC cannot maintain a neutral stance as in the past. With the US suppressing China's chip industry to the extreme, TSMC's establishment of a factory in the United States means that it will stop exporting high-end chips to China, which will cause TSMC's annual revenue to plummet by 20%. Moreover, not long after the first batch of Taiwanese laborious airlifted to the United States arrived in the United States, they began to post online to complain their situation in the USA. They said on their posts that although the manpower in the American factory is not enough, the company still treats them differently. The Taiwanese only gave 14 days of buffer leave, while the local Americans still have 21 days of buffer leave. At the beginning, the company promised that those who were transferred would not have to work night shifts, but they changed their minds when they arrived in the United States, saying that Americans did not want to work night shifts, so they could only be filled by people from Taiwan. The most important thing is that the money given is much less than that of Americans. The whole post is full of dissatisfaction among Taiwanese employees. In my opinion, maybe some protest strike in American factories in the future is also a time bomb that TSMC will face. But none of these can stop the United States from hollowing out TSMC. So, why did TSMC agree to relocate? In a word, U.S. companies rely on TSMC's chip products, and TSMC also needs U.S. patented technology and technology markets. In 2021, eight of TSMC's top 10 customers are American companies, and they account for as much as 44% of TSMC's revenue. Once these companies stop buying TSMC's products, it means that TSMC will lose half of its business. In addition, TSMC is also heavily dependent on the United States in terms of technology. Chips are a product of global division of labor and collaboration. Among the top five semiconductor equipment companies in the world, three are American. The product lines of these three companies almost cover the entire chip processing process. In addition, the lithography machine company ASML we are familiar with, in order to obtain the ultraviolet light source technology developed by American companies, ASML not only promised to purchase a certain proportion of parts from the United States, but also accepted regular reviews by American companies. Therefore, although TSMC's chip manufacturing share accounts for 56% of the world, they have little say in the entire chip industry chain. Although its processing technology is superb, it cannot avoid countless U.S. patents. As long as the Americans set a threshold for the use of patents, TSMC will basically no longer be able to operate. Moreover, TSMC's largest shareholder is Citigroup of the United States, which accounts for more than 20% of the shares, and the overall proportion of American capital exceeds 70%. In any case, the move of TSMC has become a fact. It is foreseeable that the efficiency and yield rate of American factories will not be very good. What is your opinion? Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. See you.